Hey people, Demon here, and today I am talking about um, My Hero Academia. Okay, so there's going to be spoilers in this, by the way. But anyways, spoilers of the anime, probably manga, and also one of the movies at least, if I get to it. So I made a video a few, uh, last week I should say. Probably last week, I think it was, <laughs> um, where I said, basically where I was talking about what's going to happen at the end, if you want to go look at that, you should go down uh, to the link below. I'll put the link to it down below, <laughs> and it was pretty good, and I'm going to make a second part to that, maybe even a third part, but I don't know, but here's the second part to that. Okay, so if you have watched, or if you have been looking at the manga, I guess, you should know that Shigaraki at this point is super duper over fucking powered. <laughs> to the point where he doesn't even have to touch stuff to disintegrate anymore. He just kind of, I don't know exactly what it is. He just like thinks about it, I guess, and it just disintegrates. <laughs> it's just a new quirk of his. And now he can absorb powers just like all for one. And all that good stuff. Okay? <laughs> um, and right now, the last chapter had him and Endeavor coming at him. So they're going to fight. Or I assume they're going to fight. So that is pretty interesting. And I want to talk about what's going to happen to Endeavor. What will happen in the future... And what will happen uh, to a little bit more about what will happen to Izuku and uh, Shigaraki. Because I've already talked about that in the first one. But anyways, what's going to happen to Endeavor? Okay, so I definitely don't believe Endeavor can beat Shigaraki. All Might could barely beat one for all. And he's ten times stronger than Endeavor. <laughs> and Shigaraki is on a whole... Not a level is goddamn well crazy. Okay, so I don't think Endeavor's gonna be able to defeat the to defeat him, but I do think there's gonna be a semi battle between them. I definitely do think there's gonna be a semi battle where he's gonna be able to hold his own, and maybe Sugar Rock will fool around with him a little bit, and then he's gonna be like, he's gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna go find, I mean, like, I'm gonna get you, and he's gonna be like. I've been fooling around with you, you old stupid idiot. <laughs> you know, like, you old man. I've just been fucking with you this whole time. <laughs> and it's going to be crazy. It's going to be like, what? Like, you've been fucking with him this whole time? What? <laughs> um, And then, he's he's probably going to... I mean, Okay, I'm going to predict that he might die. I'm going to predict that he might die. <laughs> um, Or he might be crippled for the rest of his life. There's three people, I th well, there's two people I know for sure that are gonna that probably are gonna survive, and probably are gonna be crippled and maybe become like a teacher figure to the students. That would be Hawks. I definitely think he's not gonna be a hero anymore because he got like so badly injured. Um, and that would also be the Rabbit Girl. I forgot her name, but she's the Rabbit Girl. I think one of her legs got ripped off, if I'm not mistaken. Or pretty much damn near ripped off. So she's probably never going to be able to use that leg again. Um, so she's going to have to like become probably a teacher most likely. Or maybe she'll still be a hero I guess. I guess she could get like robotic leg I guess. Uh, that is possible. Or maybe someone with a cork could heal it. I don't know. But I'm thinking these people are probably going to become some sort of teachers or mentors to these students. Because I'm thinking they're going to live. But for Endeavor, I'm thinking he's going to fight against Shigaraki and he's going to get his ass kicked. But at the end, he might buy us, well, buy the hero some time. I think that he is going to sacrifice himself where he's just going to go super duper like supernova or something like that. And he's just going to burn as bright as he can and burn as much as he can and focus on Shigaraki, which might knock Shigaraki out 
or might push him back unless Shigaraki's big bot I forgot I forgot his name but the the big guy that now kind of is Shigaraki's bodyguard pretty much unless he shows up and kind of blocks it I guess that could be a possibility but I definitely think Endeavor is going to sacrifice himself and buy them some time to escape. Maybe even knocking Shigaraki out in the process. Which will be crazy. Because they'll have to like go supernova pretty much. I don't think it can go that hot. But it will be crazy. And then maybe we'll have like a scene from like the Avengers. <laughs> um, like Avengers Infinity War. Where Spider-Man just turns to ashes. And then Endeavor is kind of just there. And he just turns to ashes. <laughs> that would be crazy. <laughs> He'd like look at Chigar he'd look at Todoroki and he'd be like, I don't feel so good and just turn to ashes. <laughs> that'd be that'd be really fucking crazy. It'd be crazy. <laughs> um now this is gonna have some consequences, I think. The first consequence, I think this will piss off Dobby, if I'm mistaken, that's his name. Which a lot of people speculate is Endeavor's son. Uh, which is also one of the reasons I think that he might just be really crippled and still survive, though. That's also one of the reasons I'm thinking that, because Dobby, I think, wants to finish him off, and Endeavor might be like, sorry, not Endeavor, I mean, uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, Shigaraki might be like, I'm gonna, I'm not going to kill you because Dobby, my boy, he wants to fuck you up, <laughs> so I'm not going to kill you. But if he does kill him, I think Dobby will be very pissed off. Um, because a lot of people think that he is his son. I don't know for sure. I've made a theory about that before. Go to my channel, look it up if you want to see it. Um, but I think Dobby will be super pissed off if that happens. And maybe even go against uh, Shigaraki at the end. It will be fucking crazy. Or maybe he'll just focus all his hatred on Todoroki and that'd be like oh my goodness Dobby you bitch <laughs> get the fuck out of here <laughs> it'd be just crazy but I definitely think something bad's gonna happen to Endeavor and if he dies I think he's gonna die sacrificing himself and not just him being killed okay so that's that whole thing I'm thinking it's gonna happen now another thing I think is gonna happen is I think there's going to be another arc after this where it's going to be kind of like a war arc, at least for Japan itself. Probably not for the world at this point, but for Japan. Because Shigaraki at this point is so strong, he doesn't need to hide in the shadows anymore. So he could go into the public and just start wrecking shit, and no one can stop him because there's no heroes at this point that are strong enough. And you could say Midoriya might be able to but he is not at that level yet to stop him. Um, which I've talked about in my other video. Go check it out. <laughs> Link down below. But Izuku is not strong enough to stop him at this point. So I think there might be some kind of war arc where he's trying to take over all of Japan. And he might even succeed. And they might have to go to a different island or like, or like some, some place where they can live. Uh, where most of the people can live. Uh, the people that weren't caught by the villains, I guess. And they're just going to be there and slowly working until they can take back Japan, I guess. Now that would be crazy if there's some kind of war arc like that. It'd be like, oh my goodness. Because it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Is he going to hide in the shadow still or is he going to come out into the open? Which begs the question, what will happen to All Might? We know that All Might was predicted to die. So, will Endeavor kill him? I mean, not, not Endeavor. <laughs> will, um, god damn it, what, what is it? Shigaraki. Will Shigaraki kill him? And that might motivate Deku even more. And it will be like, oh my goodness. Okay, so I wanted to talk about the Doctor as well. Okay, the Doctor. <laughs> we know that he has been caught. Okay, so he's been caught at this point. And there's going to be shenanigans that happen after this. Again, I think there's probably going to be some kind of war arc or something like that. Um, <laughs> kind of reminds me of like Naruto with the war arc. Uh, but probably a lot different. <laughs> but yeah, we know the Doctor has been caught. And I was just thinking, just to myself, I was thinking, do you think 
Because the doctor, uh, in the last chapter, we see the bu the the bullets that take away people's quirk. It's it's gone. Like they're all destroyed. At least that's what we think. There might be one left, but we don't know for sure. But do you think the doctor, okay, the doctor might be able to stop Shigaraki? And I was thinking, like, why would the doctor do that? I don't think he would do that sort of thing. But at the same time, I was also thinking, what if they kind of play to the doctor's narcissistic narcissistic tendencies, you know? They kind of go like, oh, you made your ultimate weapon. He's a total badass. Like, pff, you couldn't even stop him yourself, could you? And the doctor would be like, of course I could. You know, like, I made him. I could destroy him. It's like, oh, bullshit, right? And I don't think the doctor would be stupid enough to make something, but I think he'd be stupid enough to, like, say things where another scientist could be like, oh, I get what he's saying, dumbass. I'm going to fucking make this thing now that's going to stop him. <laughs> and that would be crazy. Unless the doctor's super smart and it won't stop him, it'll just make him super powered. <laughs> That'd be fucked up crazy. But could you imagine if the doctor was like that? If he was just like, you know, like, <laughs> he's like, oh, like, I'm a genius. I can stop whatever the fuck I want to stop. And then he tries to stop him. Or he, he makes something that could stop him. Or hints at something that could stop him. Or perhaps Overhaul will be taken in. And we will be shown how to make those bullets. And it will be really bad for Ari. Or is that her name? I don't know. <laughs> the little girl that they saved. It will be really bad for her. If that happened. But he's the only one that really knows how to make those bullets. At least that we know of. But then again, maybe she could just reverse his time anyways. But she is not in control of her quirk just yet, obviously. But yeah, maybe she'll be able to sacrifice... Not sacrifice herself, but sacrifice a small portion of herself to make these bullets just to stop this evil mastermind. It'll be like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And I've also heard people saying that they might turn, I think his name is Twice, the guy that can clone himself and copy quirks pretty much and turn his clones into people that have their quirks. I've heard people say they might turn him into a Nomu. That would be pretty crazy. Um, I want to talk about Deku and Shigaraku's f Shigaraki's fight also. But first I want to talk about what's going to happen to One for All. And also, the Hero Hunter Stain. Sting? Stain. <laughs> What's going to happen to those two? They're still in jail. What I think is going to happen is that Shigaraki's going to go get his master, break his ass out of jail, and something could happen there, or he could just be like, oh, good work, my son. He might just let him go free. Unless he, like, I wonder if Shigaraki will just betray him. What if he tries to control him and Sugar Rock is just like, shut the fuck up and kills him. Just straight up kills him. It'll be like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but I'm thinking that they're probably going to release him from jail eventually. And he's going to be there. Maybe he'll even take over Sugar Rocky's body. I've talked about this before in my last one. That will be crazy. And I'm thinking they're going to release Stain as well. Uh, maybe even Overhaul, I guess. But probably not. Unless they move them. I guess that's also a possibility. They might have moved him out of that prison to an undisclosed location. But yeah, he's probably going to... But I'm thinking they probably didn't. They're probably going to release him. Also, I forgot the guy's name. I don't not go with names. Also, the guy that can teleport people because he's like a big cloud. And he, we know that he's a semi-nomu or something, I guess. Or the original nomu. It's crazy. So... With, like, they might just, like, release them, and then Stain might be there, and they might accidentally release him, and he might team up with the heroes just to fight these guys. If not the heroes, at least, like, Deku, <laughs> at the very least. Um, or maybe he'll die trying to say, like, trying to fight and become a hero, you know? Maybe he'll just die being like, hey, I'm not gonna let you do this shit, and he's gonna be like, Fuck you, pretty much. And then he's going to be like, oh, no, you're dead. <laughs> that would be crazy. And what if they even took his quirk? Holy shit. What if he took his quirk? 
And then, like, someone bleeds on him and he just licks it. And they're like, I can't move. Shit. <laughs> That'd be fucking crazy. Um, now, the last thing I wanted to talk about, at least to my memory, was the fight between Shigaraki and Deku. I've already made a video again. Link down below. Go check it out. But I was thinking, in the second movie... There was a villain called Nine because he could absorb nine quirks. And he was the precursor to uh, the final Uraraka. Not Uraraka. Not Uraraka. The final, the final villain. <laughs> he was the precursor to him. Um, to his final evolution, I should say. God damn, I forgot his name. <laughs> God damn it. What? Ugh, gosh. Shigaraki. <laughs> he was like the, the the first evolution to the final evolution of Shigaraki. And Nine tried to steal Deku's quirk. Okay, he tried to steal one for all. And he said that he couldn't because it was like Deku's quirk was too powerful and didn't want to go to him, I think, or something like that, if I remember correctly. And plus there's just too much power and too much quirks he couldn't absorb it, um, but, so he couldn't absorb it, but, that doesn't mean Shigaraki can't absorb it, because Nine could only absorb nine quirks, and had to get rid of one to absorb another one, um, and he probably couldn't absorb Deku's quirk, but does that mean Shigaraki can't absorb Deku's quirk? Can Shigaraki absorb Deku's quirk? We know, I don't think One for All ever could, or else he probably would have. Um, but Shigaraki might be even more powerful than one for all. So he might be able to absorb Deku's quirk, which will be absolutely insane. And I wonder if Deku will use that opportunity to basically sacrifice himself and in the process sacrifice Shigaraki as well. Like, that would be crazy. I was just thinking that, you know? Like, I was thinking... Nine couldn't do it. I don't think One for All could do it. But maybe Shigaraki is powerful enough to do it. Um, if not, some of it. You know, maybe he'll be able to take some of his quirks. And at the end, he'll be left with pretty much nothing. And he'll just have to fight to his heart's content. And he'll just have to fight to, like, the very end. It'll be... That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. <laughs> but anyways... I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell notification. Best way to come to my channel. Link down below to my Twitter. And remember, my friends, stay sane. Peace. Shadow, my baby, I love you so much. You're my baby. And you love to sleep in the bathtub. Because <laughs> you're a weirdo. Shadow, look. Look at your buddy. Look over here.